Welcome to our exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview today with Dr. Danny Rittman, CTO of GBT Technologies, Inc., ticker symbol GTCH. Now, the company website is www.gbtti.com. GBT Technologies is a development stage company which considers itself a native of Internet of Things, also known as IoT, artificial intelligence, and enable mobile technology platforms used to increase IC, which is integrated circuit performance. GBT's mission is to license the technology and IP to synergetic partners in the areas of hardware and software. Once commercialized, it is GBT's goal to have a suite of products, including smart microchips, AI, encryption, blockchain, IC design, mobile security applications, database management protocols with tracking and supporting cloud software without the need for GPS. That is a pretty aggressive mission. Let's go find out more by talking with our special guest today, Dr. Danny Rittman. Danny, welcome to the show today. Really appreciate you coming on in this interview. GTCH is positioning itself in some, what I consider to be transformative platforms. We're talking about artificial intelligence, blockchain, which is really catching on right now. And you're the CTO of the company. So give me an idea, from your perspective, what do you think separates yourself from the competition when you're talking about these particular sectors and GTCH being involved in those sectors? Well, first of all, thank you very much for having me today on the show. Um, well, we, we believe in, in, in GBT, basically GTCH, as you mentioned, we totally believe that the technology is the future of, of healthcare and, and health, uh, what we call um, health, uh, fit, fitness, uh, everything that goes into this direction. And by the way, we are not the only ones. Um, if you will look basically in the, in the previous months, you know, big major corporations like Apple or, or similar also officially declare that they are basically going into this direction heavily. Um, not only this, many manufacturers of microchips also going into this and manufacturing, designing and manufacturing microchips that enabling uh, but the building of apparatus and other technology uh, for the health uh, industry. Um, again, one more point to, to remind is, for example, IBM Watson uh, system that is basically an AI, a robust AI that was developed especially at the time for the medicine field, medical field also is, is showing us that for the past decade or so, the entire high tech industry is going into this direction. We strongly believe this is the future of healthcare and, and uh, basically all everything to make our life better, healthier. And that's why we decided actually even prior to the pandemic to join this effort and starting to work on AI engine to, to enable such capabilities. Uh, we totally believe the major advantage that we bring to the field here, to the, to the arena, is our artificial intelligence technology. Um, although, you know, we introduced with this Q term, and, I, and I'll talk about this later today, uh, also electronics, advanced electronics. The electronics is good, but it, it's fairly straightforward. The key secret, the key wisdom is the uh, intelligence behind it, is the cognitive uh, capabilities, um, is the uh, capability and uh, of, of basically the features that differ us and give us the advantage on others, like for example, simple uh, devices like thermometers or oximeters or any other apparatus in the health domain that we uh, make our devices intelligent. We give them wisdom, we give them the artificial intelligence factor. I know one of the uh, questions you've been asked in the past is, you know, why healthcare? You mentioned Q term, which we're going to talk about here, but, you know, why healthcare? And, you know, I can answer that to a certain degree when you're talking about uh, healthcare and you're talking about, as an example, blockchain and your, you know, AI, which we're talking about right now. I mean, healthcare is a dinosaur. I mean, they're minimum 20 years behind what's going on right now and insurance uh, insurances and there's a lot of other sectors it's not just healthcare but on the Q term side uh, you know when you talk about artificial intelligence like you said absolutely it is the future Q term is is basically a, a device that's empowered by AI through your company and it's basically a, a medical personal assistant that you have on you each person carries it is that correct 
Is that yes, that is correct. Qtab actually was born because of this pandemic. We uh, we saw that the need of something very close to, to first help people maybe uh, identify some some out of the ordinary or, or, or concerns uh, vitals, and that's what the product does. It, it basically provides a very quick on the fly uh, human vitals. You know, you can take your body temperature, um, oxygen level, heart rate. Later, we're going to also provide um, uh, blood pressure. But and so so very quick within seconds the user can see okay you know there's something to be concerned even by visual effects the device you know will show by color you know like a, a green if you good uh, temperature yellow uh, of course and red um, so so that's what it is regarding QTEM but beyond that QTEM sends this data and this information to a, a smart program called the intelligence behind the scene and then this data has been processed has been analyzed and recorded, keep a log and history. So the system becomes what we call a personal medical assistant. You know, it watches you as you start using the device for years to come. And in case of abnormalities of some results of concern, the system advises, okay, you know, maybe it's time to, to check these vitals. Maybe it's time to, to make a doctor appointment. Or of course, if something severe, it can alert also. So in a way, it can literally save lives. You know, that is is fascinating device. I've seen some of the videos that you were kind enough to send me, Danny, and, and been keeping up to date with what the company's been doing, especially over the last three months talking about this, this particular subject on the Q-Term side. The technology, the Q-Term technology that we're talking about, which is empowered by AI, is it patented at this time? That is correct. We did file a patent for that uh, technology, uh, for the Q-Term device. Uh, the patent, uh, of course, is a, is a non-provisional, so it's more comprehensive. Um, and currently, of course, in pending mode. Uh, we did incorporate within the patent all the aspects of the technology, if it's from the hardware side, from the electronics, um, if it's from the software side. And we probably, you know, will continue filing additional patents after that. Um, that are related to this technology, but we definitely patent this technology, yes. Okay, and, and like you said, a personal medical assistant, we're talking about Q-term technology with Dr. Danny Rittman here from GTCH, GBT Technologies. As far as the Q-term goes, it really does keep a full medical history of the person. I mean, it, it records that, right? Right. That's what the, when a user start using the device, it registers, of course, open an account. And by the way, all is secured. We made sure we're using the high maximum security here. Um, and of course, you know, it records every time you take your vitals. It records date, time, of course, results and data. Uh, later on, we want to add more uh, features to the device. And, and I will get to it further as we talked about other research we do, if it's the robotics, if it's the Kirlian imaging research. We're going to talk about this as well. Uh, but it slowly start to build an entire database of the user. So, you know, every day when you take, you know, your vitals, the system checks. And, you know, if, of course, it's easy to, for the system based on pre-knowledge that the AI knows to keep track on the records, um, you know, of that the user. And in case of some abnormalities or, or concern, um, report, you know, give some alert. Okay, we need to look into it. Uh, yes, it is. It is keeping record. It is keeping um, records, and it performs analytics on the data. That's the most important thing. Huh. Fascinating information. Uh, it's called QTERM from GBT Technologies. As far as certification goes with the FDA, I, I know you might not know the answer, but of course, I have to ask you the question: Any updates? Any letters from the FDA yet? As far as certification goes on the device. Well, we, we did start, you know, we actually had this, a specialist a company that actually is our expert. They do it for many years. Uh, we, I believe we even uh, released a press release of them, M Squared and Associates, and, and they are helping and guiding us, of course, how to do it. It's important to, to remember one thing. We could basically release the QTEM right now. The device is not declared as a medical device. It's declared as a health-related health vitals, but we really want, since we, we our ambition is always to provide the, the highest technology level of, of technology. So we said, you know, since we're also aiming for future for that Q term, let's go ahead and, and bring it back, bring it a higher level, higher standards uh, by doing the FDA certification. Uh, and of course, this is opens also another whole market later on that we want to go into. Um, 
the FDA, so the FDA started, you know, we start to get some consultation from the company uh, and, and we will go ahead and, and of course, we don't know how long it's going to take. We're now working on the improvement and bringing the hardware, the actual device to, to a level according to this document, software and hardware. Um, and, and the main idea is uh, that we hope to reach later is to basically get uh, what we call into telemedicine. If the, the device will be FDA, when it will be FDA approved, uh, it could be used by physicians, by clinics, um, and, and further on. Um, that, that's the main idea of the, uh, the filing for the FDA. One is to bring it to a higher standards according to FDA requirements. And second, to open a possible future um, uh, markets for it. Uh, hospitals, uh, clinics, physicians, uh, so it can be an official device for telemedicine. That's the main target. Sure. Now, we're talking about Q-Term, but you also have uh, recent, in fact, recent news, you're talking about a robotics research program, understanding the company is in the robotics uh, side of things as far as testing goes. So you have a robotics research program at the company. How is that progressing? And uh, I'm curious, do you have any products you anticipate will be rolling out perhaps in 2021 from the robotics side? Well, the robotic side is another research that we thought, okay, if we have, again, if we focus on artificial intelligence engine that can do plenty, um, we also wanted to check the possibility of, of actually using this engine for actually under mechanical uh, system. Uh, for example, a, a robotic, you know, a, a surgical robotic arm, a surgical robotic system that also a few of them uh, were developed for the past decade or so. You have... Uh, the Da Vinci system is, is something very uh, based on AI. Uh, you can read a lot of it on Google. Um, but then we said, okay, let's start to see how we can use our AI for precision, for example, if I want to make a, a precise incision, so if I want to make it to a certain depth, something that a human hand can, of course, do with very years of, of expertise, but we truly believe if it's guided um, by an AI engine, um, you know, it, it can provide a very good results. If it's imaging, you know, to take some imaging and analyze them by the AI, etc. The robotic is currently in, only in research phase. Uh, we don't have any plan at this point to actually build a device or robotic arm. This is a, a big operation. But at this point, we're just um, doing a research uh, only in order to see how effective we can implement our artificial intelligence uh, technology for mechanical systems. Okay, so that's on the robotics research program. I'm sure you'll be giving more updates as, as you work through on the program and it progresses, uh, Danny. Uh, last question for you, any other information or anything else you'd like to get out to the shareholders, prospective investors that are actually watching today on the company? Sure, gladly. So just again, everything, the company main efforts nowadays is to provide what we call a major infrastructure in as a medical, for the medical field from the aspect of the technology. Uh, we're doing another nice research. Also, it's in a research phase. It's the Kirlian imaging uh, techniques. Again, the Kirlian is another way to try to predict or maybe find underlined uh, symptoms or health condition that typically are not visible to some, um, the energy of, of body organs. Uh, the main idea again is maybe one day if, if we'll reach some conclusion that this, uh, this techniques are actually vital, you know, viable for that type of purpose, we may, it's target to maybe implement within the Q-term in the future. Um, another type of system we're actually building is a long range uh, radio system, uh, uh, internal code name Infinia. Um, we really want the uh, to provide what we call the health uh, assistance um, uh, anywhere on Earth. So we said, okay, if there is a um, a hiker that's stuck in the jungle of the Amazons and he really needs some medical advice and need to take vitals, we want him or her to to be able to send the data all the way to a clinic in New York City. So we are working on a long range radio system that is gonna support you know, the Q-term. Q-term will be connected to the Bluetooth and send the information there. Later on, we may implement this radio system directly into the Q-term. So it doesn't need even the Bluetooth later in the game. So 
the main focus of the company nowadays is mainly to provide uh, health technology as eventually, ultimately, we, we see uh, some possibility in the future to incorporate all this system into one uh, unique system that basically can provide uh, much better health possibilities if it's for diagnostics, if it's for procedures uh, or even surgeries. Uh, that's the main idea. So I always say that uh, we should never overlook the amount of innovation can, you know, can come in our future uh, because we, we really intend uh, to bring like many other, you see other companies like Apple I brought, for example, IBM. We, we, we intend to be um, major players in this domain. The, the company, again, is GBT Technologies. The company is public, trades under the ticker symbol uh, GTCH, and our guest today, Chief Technical Officer, Dr. Danny Rittman. Uh, Danny, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you very much for having me on the show. Thank you. Absolutely. Once again, our thanks to Dr. Danny Rittman, CTO of GBD Technologies, Inc., ticker symbol GTCH. Now, if you like this video, hit the like button. Feel free to share this video interview and subscribe to our channel, which is Stock Investor Daily. We would appreciate that. I'm Dave Donlin for Stock Investor Daily.